first waka arrived from Polynesia around 1250 AD, it wasn't just humans setting foot on New Zealand shores. This Pacific rat was one of the first of many mammals to be introduced by settlers from around the globe. Before then, our only land mammals were three species of bat, or so we thought. New Zealand has a very turbulent geological history and fossils of land animals are very poorly preserved except in the last few thousand years. So before that, going back about 65 million years, there's almost been no um, land fossils of animals known. And the St Bathans sites have fossils which are about 20 million years old. There's a team of us, uh, an international team. Well, we've been going down to this site since 2001 every summer. We initially went down there thinking, well, hopefully we'll find a bird bone or two, but we're absolutely amazed by what we found. We actually found thousands of bones. These bones here are pretty big. What are those? This is from a crocodilian, and this is the humerus, like the arm bone. It's only about half the full length, so a whole one would be, say, this big. And this is a, a toe off it. And this is a, a tooth. You might think, well, that's not really a very big tooth, so it couldn't have been a very big animal, but if you put that into a jaw, you know, with all the whole row of teeth, you've got a, a mandible about this long, and then you've got the whole skull that's maybe that long, and then, you know, how long a, a croc is, mm. well, you know, <laughs> the whole animal's going to be much bigger than this, maybe three metres. The biggest find is probably this. That, I can hardly see it. <laughs> I know. It's well, so small. It's so small. It's only small. about, what, three millimetres long? Well, that's right, it's so yeah. small. So how do you know it's a bone, let alone what animal it belongs to? Oh, well, under a microscope, we can actually see that that's a mandible of an animal, and although it's missing its teeth, you can see all the holes that the teeth are in. Although we know it's really unusual, we, we're still not sure of its relationships. Uh, we know it's not any of the living kinds of mammals. What it seems to be more closely related to is some of the kinds of mammals that lived, you know, 100 million years ago, but, and those groups are all extinct. Um, it's got certain primitive features, which suggests that its legs were a bit more out to the side than modern-day mammals. So it's been called the waddling mouse because it's uh, a mouse is, is a placental, which is, you know, a pretty active, bouncy sort of... Uh, animal, but this thing, because its legs would have been a bit more out to the side, would have been a bit more like a, um, a crocodile or something. It would have sort of, you know, moved a bit more like that probably, so it would have been a bit slower. <laughs> New Zealand's been regarded as kind of like the land of birds, you know, it's famous for its birds. And um, although we do have mammals, but we didn't have any non-flying uh, land animals. But this is clearly a, uh, a land animal. So New Zealand did actually have um, land mammals which was quite a breakthrough. Just finding it was like, wow, you know, <laughs> it's like the holy grail. People often say their research is groundbreaking, but Alan and his team mean that in more ways than most. And each year's trip brings more dirt and more discoveries back to their papa.